What's going on, Rangers and Turtles? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with another comic book review for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two. Uh, this is going to be a minor plot point summary review, so don't worry about it. Nothing too spoilery because I want you to go out and buy the comic and enjoy it for yourself. Our worlds collide while fighting. And it appears we fans in the that they have fans in the world. They've been simultaneously saving the world. And they've never crossed over until now. I mean they crossed over in space, but I'm not sure if that's canon. Well that would be. They they met the in space rangers, they never met them. But they've been simultaneously saving the world, and I think it's really great that, you know, he was like, We've been saving the world, and it's like we've been saving the world, so it's like it's really great. We let our guard down and it's time to make new friends. And while we're making new friends, the Rangers go to the house, they meet April, April does some stuff with Kimberly, they're doing their team up, Splinter, and the home, Splinter, well, Splinter meets them, Zack is like, is that a rat over there? And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a rat, don't worry about it, don't worry about him too much, he's, uh, he's our master, but, uh, I, I, I love how the Turtles open their home to them. And they're each enjoying, and they're each enjoying the time with them, and their interactions. Interactions are golden here. Like, Donnie and Billy are talking smart stuff, and we fight together, and our worlds are getting a lot bigger. Because our worlds, whoa. This can't be a crossover without our worlds colliding, and becoming bigger as a whole. And I really hope something big happens because of this. Uh, what are you guys hoping for after the end of this comic book? Comment down below and let me know. But... This issue was amazing, and the art and the story of our heroes uh, was really well drawn. Our friendships are growing, and we're seeing how one half lives compared to the others. I'm kind of hoping that maybe the turtles go to Angel Grove. I'm not exactly sure how they sneak them around, but I mean, you know, they live in the same town as a Power Ranger, so I don't think anything would happen, but who knows. But um, I just want to talk about one spoilery thing, so if you haven't read it yet, come back when you have. And if you have read it in 3, 2... One fucking Dragon Zord morphing Shredder. Like, when I first saw the art of this, I wasn't too upset that it was a spoiler because, as a fan of turn of of the Turtles and of the Power Rangers, I knew this was coming. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, I saw the artwork before this issue, and I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad, you guys. I was more along the lines of, "Oh shit, this is really happening," because. I was like, why else would Tommy be in the Foot Clan? But also, Shredder's not stupid. Shredder would deadass steal the power from a Power Ranger. So, now we have a Mighty Morphin Power Shredder in the building. With fucking Dragon Zord powers. If Shredder uses the Dragon Zord, guys, I am gonna fucking lose it. I'm just telling you that right now. Like, hand on my comic books. If Shredder uses the Dragon Flute... To summon the Dragon Zord, I'll die of hype. So hit that subscribe button for more reviews of comic books and TV and movies and all that fun stuff. What did you guys think about this issue? Comment down below and let me know. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, uh, like the video, and check out my social media. It will be in the description bar below and in the QR code at the end of the video. Uh, my Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Uh, follow me to be up to date on when I post new content. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you do for me. Do not forget to stay positive. Stay on the grind. Everything happens for a reason. I love and support you the same way you love and support me. And your time is coming. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out. And enjoy your lives, and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.